so hi everyone hope you're doing good and welcome to gate prep so you have been requesting me to make a video on oracle account setup and this was request from both working professionals and my juniors who were in, who are in college and school so oracle has been providing certifications for students and various free certifications so if you're really interested in these courses you can sign up and go for the certification they would be modules followed by some exams and if you are a working professional then you might have to go through mandatory oracle training and for this you need to set up your oracle account and even the students have to do this and you have to sync this with your enterprise id if you are not a working professional if you are a student you can use your college educational email or your even a personal emails so let's take a look and see how we can register on oracle website so for this we need to go on go to oracle official page and register with your email so i'll just go to oracle website or you can just google it although i'll be providing the, all the necessary links in the description so yeah you can go to oracle.com i already have uh, accounts on oracle so i'm using this new account so i'll tell you how to set up and you can see new accounts and as you can see you can sign up for a free cloud tier or you can sign up to cloud and for, but for now we are going for Oracle account so as you can see if you already have a Oracle account you can just sign up and if you don't you need to create a, an account you can see this so we'll click on this create an account this will take some time yeah so this is the official sign up page for Oracle account so I'll try to provide my details so if you are using your college ID or personal email you can do that or if you are a working professional you have to go through that there would be some set of guidelines provided to you by your team concern or you may get in touch with your uh, technology team or, or education team and they will guide you through so let's do this for now so I'll be providing my gaming ID <laughs> which I have been using so yeah I'll just show you how to do it so you need to provide your uh, I'm using my gmail and you have to provide some password so try to use complex passwords maybe combination of special characters uppercase and lowercase and numbers so this is a good practice and it will keep you keep you safe from attacks so I'm using combination of numbers so I'm done and if your password does not meet the criteria as you can see this is the criteria then you might have to select choose another password so m mine is clear so I'll move ahead and yeah yeah I'm through this and I have to check your country so my name is India I'm living in India so I have given my country name and I'll give my name so as you know my what is my what my name is you have been seen in my previous videos and job title is not required you may just give NA or it's just a student that's not an issue you, you can give your number so I have to give my number so I will just add anything I don't know what it means in binary so again I have to give a company name so you can give your college name or just provide NA it's totally up to you but you have to give some input and the address for the address you have to give your office address or your or the address provided in your guidelines and if you are using this for your personal you, or you, you can give your personal address and if you are using your college ID or your educational email you can give your college address 
it would be a better, good practice so I would give some random address Mumbai although I'm not from Mumbai so I'm just giving a random I don't need this counter at all it's just for demonstration and this is Dharavi anything I'm giving and I'm giving and my state would be Maharashtra sorry uh, Maharashtra people That's not to offend you oh, this is valid yeah so this is okay so you give your personal educational or enterprise ID check your passwords give your country your name your work phone number your job title if you are a software developer you can do that SD1 SD2 or associate analyst depend depending on the role so give your role over here in a job title so I'll click on create account and uh, while creating account you might get a bad request or you might not be getting the verification mail so don't worry you will get your verification mail uh, within 5 to 10 minutes or check your spam folder recheck your email address often happens you in a hurry you are in a hurry and you type the wrong spelling so you can update that and this I think it looks good and even if you don't get within an hour or something you can sign up and continue the ne next process when you get the email so yeah it could take uh, three working days so there is no issue and if you don't get any mail within three days you can create a new account and followed by the same steps so I will show you the email that I might have received and I'll continue from there okay so once you check your mailbox you'll be getting a mail from verify your Oracle email address and just click on this button and the link might expire within a span of 24 hours so if I click on this it will redirect me to the next stages of profile completion yeah success your account is ready to use now I'll click on continue this might take some time yeah okay as you can see and you need to log in again on this Oracle website after your email verification so this is my another account so I will try to remove this is correct voila and we are through no we are not sorry for this I'll try to re-log re in so once you log in with your username and password it will show your profile and it will show your contact details your country your company name and address and all the necessary stuff so once you're good with it and you have confirmed it you need to click on save and continue and there would be some could be some instructions from your company to manage your subscriptions so if you have an earlier account you can manage subscriptions that you have enrolled for and the next thing you need to do is sync your oracle account with your partner store so I will provide the link in the description or the link could be in your enterprise mail or the guidelines provided by the company so this is a you can google it this is the oracle partner store so all you need to do is go through some steps and sync your account so if you don't have an oracle account you have to create one as we have created one so we will go on to sign in
yeah so once you sign in you will see request for access if a company is already an open partner so this is for the employees and if this is for the authorities or the managing team they need to sign up and do the payments so this is managed by the other other section so for you you need to go to and request for access yeah so this is a company id if you look into the guidelines or the mail provided by a company there would be some company code company full name uh, and uh, there would be some i think there would be let, let me verify uh, there would be your company country your company name your company identifier or company id so it would be for provided by your organization as well or your team and you need to put that company code within this so i will not do this because i have already done and i can't share the id as confidential so i will try to do if this see if this works i don't think it would do but yeah, let's see yeah it is not the valid code so i can't move ahead with this and i'll show you the next step which i have done after this code so if you have the code just put the company code and we'll go to the next step so when you provide your ops code and your company details you would be redirected to your oracle partner store so unfortunately i can't show you because of a policy and the data on your profile is confidential so i can't show but it will show your username on the top and your enterprise id followed by there would be some announcements showing the extension of validity of commercial terms oda promotions migration of database and below that would be your companies so within the companies it would be your organization name it will have your opn number your associate partner and your expiry expires on uh, becoming your and your company id that you have provided and your csi number and there would be your all the details and once you are done with that give me a minute and once you are done with that you just uh wait you have just synced your profile and your check in your my profile and first yeah, yeah yeah all the steps are done there and the next you need to do is go to your certificate alignment so it would it would take some time to uh sync your accounts both the both your account for partners and your oracle main account so it might take a week and once you get that you need to go to uh, oracle readiness platform so i think i can show you this I'm tapping with one hand, so it's tough. Because I'm accessing the another another device on the right. Yeah. So this would be Oracle Readiness Platform. No, not this one. I'll I'll just tell you what Oracle dot next exam dot com, something like this. The links would be there in your organization email only, and you need to log in with your verified oracle account so and in this uh, platform you will have your all your modules and you need to take your exams the exams would be proctored and i think would be of an hour and the questions would be of moderate moderate level based to just check your fundamentals and after that after clearing the exam i think the cut off is 60% and after that you'll be getting your certificates so this certificates you can add to your resume or on your company portal so there would be some my competency my skills section or my certifications you can add that and for students i will make another video uh, so that you can uh, add up add up to your skills and advantage to your resume or if you are inclined towards oracle and cloud and 
other stuff so this was just a basic tutorial on how you can set up your oracle account and badge it with your main oracle account so i will try to make another part for this and uh, hope this was helpful so if you have any other questions feel free to drop the comments or you can ping me on my instagram i'll be giving all the de details and links in the description and till then take care and happy learning thank you